there. Welcome to another lesson with myself, Mrs. Keane. Today we're going to focus on place value. But before we do that, just make sure that you've got a pencil and a piece of paper so that you can work along with me. And don't forget that when I say off you go to do your work, you can just pause it and do your work and then come back and check your answers. Okay, let's get your brains working. We've got a little times table for you. So um, we're going to go through the eight times table. I'm going to start and when I do that it's going to be my turn and when I do that I'd like you to just speak to the cam uh, to the to your laptop to your screen wherever you're watching this if you'd like to get a teddy you can do that and you can pretend that your teddy is your partner one times eight is eight two times eight is sixteen three times eight is twenty four Four times eight is thirty-two. Five times eight is forty. Six times eight is forty-eight. Seven times eight is fifty-six. Seven times eight is fifty-six. Sorry, I repeated that one for you. Eight times eight is sixty-four. Nine times eight is seventy-two. 10 times 8 is 80, 11 times 8 is 88, 12 times 8 is 96, well done. Now I found a little song, I know in Otter class usually we sing the times tables, so there's this fantastic song um, by Adele, um, it's a cover where you'll be singing the eight times table, so off you go, and if you can find that on YouTube, you might need to ask an adult to help you, just um, Google eight times table by Adele and you can sing along with that, so you can pause that, go and do that and then come back to me. Well done if you're back. Okay, so now you're going to need your pen and pen, um, pen and paper and we're going to do a quick starter. For this side, I'd like you to read these numbers out loud. So read them to your teddy or to your screen and then I'd like you to write them in words. So let's have a look at the first one. So I'd like you to say 183. And I'd like you to write that as 183, if I show you here, I'll move this along, so that's your number and I'd like you to write it in words, so that's the example. 183. Okay, so I've done the first one for you. Back to the whiteboard. Have a go at these numbers, please. So pause the video, say those out loud, and write the answers underneath. Well done if you've done that. Let's check your answers 275. 564. Check your spellings as well. Now we're going to do the opposite. So here I'd like you to read that number and write it in number form instead of in words. So here's three for you to do. Say the, word, say the number out loud and write it. Off you go. Well done. Let's check your answers. We've had 34, 456 and 682, well done. So for this session's learning, we're going to learn to partition. I'm going to start with two D digit numbers, so there'll just be two digits. And then we'll move on to do three digits and four digit numbers. Okay, so let's do the first one all together. Here's our number, 67. Well done. So that's a two digit number because we've only got two digits. We're going to draw the sticks and then we've got 
seven ones and then copy the ten digits and then we've got 60 there so when we partition we're breaking that up into tens and ones and 67 sorry 67 we've got 60 and seven six tens which makes 60 and seven ones okay so now it's going to be over to you 428 have a quick go and then we're going to come back and work together so pause the video well done let's have a look how do you partition this number so just like we've done with the two digit number draw the sticks copy the one digit then copy the tens now remember you can't just write two because we actually know that that's two tens and two tens is 20 the same with the hundreds can't just write four there because we know that's four lots of hundred and four lots of hundred is actually four hundred well done get your work ready to have a go at the next number 253 pause the video and have a go well done let's check your work is that what you've written well done if you have remember use this to help you draw the sticks draw the one digits the tens and the hundreds well done here's another one for you 184 repeat that number after me well done off you go partition it please let's check your answer and I hope you've got that here's another one pause to have a go well done 651 how did you partition this number if you've got it like this well done you've got that if not use those sticks use the criteria that we have here to do the next one 718 well done write the 3d number draw the sticks copy the one digit copy the tens not just the number one because we actually know that that is ten so we've got one lot of ten copy the hundreds we know that that is actually seven hundred and check your answer well done okay we're going to do slightly higher number now we're going to look at four digit numbers two thousand six hundred and fifty eight repeat after me 2658 well done how would we partition this similarly we're going to draw the sticks we've got eight ones 50 because we have five tens six hundreds because we've got six lots of hundreds but this time we've also got two thousand and there it is hope you're ready to try some yourself off you go let's partition 407 sorry 4715 off you go let's check your work so you should have 4710 and 5 that would make the 15 let's have a go at 6000 247 repeat the number to your teddy or to the screen and then have a go at partitioning it let's check your answer 6200 got four lots of 10 so 40 and seven ones well done 5932 well done here's another one for you 8000 
364. Pause, have a go, check your answer, well done. Just before we go on to our challenge, the reason we learn about partitioning is that it makes it easier when adding two, three, four digit numbers together later on. Okay, on to our challenge. I'd like you to pause the video in a minute and take some time to work on these. These are just um, a couple of questions of things that we would have been working on this year. I'm not going to share the answers with you because what I'd like you to do is send you this work, a photo of it, or even if you just wanted to type the answers to your teacher. So you can use um, Purple Mash email or you can ask your parents or an adult to send it direct to your teacher using their email address. Now, what I'd like to quickly show you, if you wanted to carry on partitioning and generating, which means making your own two, three, four digit numbers, go to this website. So if you go to Google and type in random or up here, and that's this website, random org, and on the right hand side here you've got a uh, random number generator so you can type in if you want 1 to 100 to just give you two digit numbers you can leave it up to 100 and there's your 79 that you can then partition and um, if you want to try up to three digit numbers you can type 999 and there you can keep getting different two or three digit numbers for you to partition um, if you would like to have a go at four digit numbers just type 9999 and you can generate lots of different numbers there for you to then partition and practice on your work like I said earlier, feel free to send them to me, to your teachers. We'd love to see your work. That's all from me for now. Thank you for joining in. Really looking forward to seeing your work. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.